Check this out guys, I have got yet another vintage TV. I had this for free uh, from my grandparents and here it is. Um, it's a fairly large TV as you can see, it goes back a long way and uh, I'm basically going to take you through everything on it. So first we have a handle and uh, this is a very heavy unit and it also makes a lot of creaking sounds when you try and pick it up. So, here's the display, it pops out like mad, this big old CRT display, very cool. Um, it's got a little bit of like issues to it, um, I'm not very technically minded when it comes to TVs or anything like that, you know, I'm no expert on these old TVs, I just think they're really cool. Um, here, and a little bit here, we've got a little bit of uh, sort of colour distortion, as if somebody's held a magnet up to it or something like that. But anyway, um, this TV is slightly newer than the previous one I showed you, so it actually has channel buttons where you can tune in individual channels. Now then, these are cool because they're labelled. You can see BBC One, BBC Two, ITV One and ITV Two. So it was four channels in this country back in the day, and I mean ITV Two, I don't even know if that was around here um, that long ago. But anyway, uh, then you have your auxiliary one, two and three, and your video tape recorder. So that's really cool. You'd obviously put your um, video player there, you'd tune in your four channels there, and you'd have three auxiliary spare for games consoles or whatever. That's very cool. Uh, coming down then, we have the speaker, uh, which is uh, extremely impressive. Um, here we have the volume slider, so it slides, that's minimum, that's maximum. And then we have the big power button. Very nice and clunky. So, moving on to the secrets of this TV then. I like little sort of secret flaps and whatnot. If you pull this back, here you can see the tuning dials in there for each individual channel. So if I wanted to tune in BBC One, I'd twiddle this dial until BBC One came on. Very cool. And you can just hide it away there. And then we have another secret flap down here which is very secret. You open it up there at the bottom of the speaker and you've got various brightness and contrast controls and colour controls. So that's really cool. Three adjustments for the picture there. You can twiddle around with them until you get a, a really good looking picture. So let's flip the TV around then. You can see that it is very deep. Um, we will fire it up later for you guys to see. Okay. Here's the back of the TV. Um, here are your like screw-on binding posts for um, your portable aerial. So you'd have your portable aerial screwed on there. And what's very cool about this is um, it doesn't automatically detect that you've got a portable aerial. Here's this cable coming out the bottom of here, which obviously goes to here. Here's the cable. And there's your antenna input. You've got to physically plug it in, even though it's already attached to the TV, which is very cool. If you've got a normal antenna, you just plug it in there, or if you're plugging in from your uh, video recorder or something, you just plug it in there. Then you've got the power cord coming out the bottom. Uh, so a very, very simple uh, design on the back. And this is a really nice TV. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to plug in the video recorder and... Um, find a tape and fire this thing up. So we've plugged it all in and we've got uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure which is a suitable film for this type of TV in my opinion and we'll pop that in the machine. Now then, let's fire up the telly, let's pull the volume down, fire it up And there it is on screen. Very cool. Now then, let's push in the tape. As you can see, the screen has gone blue. And it's playing. <gasps> we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get back to the report. Real fast! This dude Rufus, he knows what he's talking about. Right. Oh, and Ted, give my love to the princesses. Who? You'll see. Gentlemen, is everything all right? Yeah. So how come I don't know? Ted, don't forget to wind your watch. Thanks, Rufus. Catch you later, Bill. Sure, we 
should be doing this? Ted. You and I have witnessed many So things. there you have it, guys. That is the no. video it's playing. It's what just happened. And um, Sorry, we've got it on the first auxiliary channel. I don't know why I didn't tune it into the bottom one, but I just tuned it into there quickly. Why would we lie to ourselves? The picture is great. Um, this is a very worn tape. I've watched this tape a lot when I was little. How are you gonna help um, the yeah, picture is great. Awesome if I stop the tape for a second, um, maybe on the camera you'll be able to see the little colour. Um, stuff. So you've got a little bit of colour disturbance on the corner there and quite a big bit there as you can see. Um, that line that you see is just the camera reacting with the screen. But if you step back you can see that it's barely noticeable and that's on a solid colour. If I play the video then it's not noticeable at all as soon as it comes on. Brace yourselves amigos. Now, one thing I love about these older, chunkier TVs compared to the new flat screens is the fact that it sounds really, really good. Now, if you think about it from a sort of scientific point of view, um, then if you think about a flat screen TV that's sort of that thick, You've got these little speakers in there, and there's no room for the sound to amplify. In this TV, you've got a speaker here, which is that size. It's not a big speaker, but it's a respectable size. But check out the big expanse of plastic at the back, the big open wide box that this speaker can um, amplify itself around. It's very, very cool, and it makes the sound sound really good. Um, Grant, it's not the best quality sound, but what would you expect from a telly like this? So anyway, this is my new telly. Um, believe it or not, guys, I am going to use this TV. Um, I want to use it, I'm going to set it up, and I'm going to use it for some of my older consoles. I think it's super, super cool. So anyway, guys, that was just another quick video on a retro TV that I've got. Um, it's not really a new phase, um, it's just I've come across two TVs now in, the, uh, in a, a short space of time, so I thought I'd make videos on them. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon with another video.